Walmart always reminds us to save money and live better. A guaranteed truck driver Michael Pruitt doesn't feel that way. What goes around comes around. He got hit with a boot and $500 fine for parking at the Williamsburg Walmart. I'm down here in uh, Kentucky. So did Ryan Bergdahl, who gave WKYT permission to show his video from the same Walmart parking lot. I have just was booted, literally, um, by an R&R &R parking enforcement. There's five other trucks here, and there's one. They booted him. It's on the windshield. They booted him, and, well, that's a trainer. They booted him, and it's $500. Or you get towed, you have one hour to pay it. On the night Pruitt was booted, there were 14 other trucks that got hit with a bill and a boot. Hey, this is a money right, scam. Yeah. Park a lot of the Walmart trucks on. So there's a $500 fine, you have to pay to remove it. You got the price up the you have one hour to do so. This man works for r and Parking Management. The truckers there claim he never knocked on the truck door, just threw a boot on the windshield and a ticket to boot. You know, you're not allowed to touch that. I know my rights. That's uh, illegal, dude. Yes, it is. This is private property. This don't belong to you. This don't belong to Walmart. All you put to do is knock on the door and tell us to leave. Uh, one lady crying. One guy, the, the one guy that I pulled in behind, he said, hell, I pulled my gun. So I'm just saying that's the recipe they're setting up for you. Pruitt has no idea why Walmart doesn't want truckers parking in the lot. No one we found seems to know. I've parked here hundreds and hundreds of times, never had an issue. And now this. We were able to get in touch with Walmart's corporate office. Walmart partnered with r and management more than a year ago. r and have signs posted at all entrances and in the parking lot. Walmart came to the decision to partner with r and after excessive overnight parking, littering, and damage. Walmart officials say they make no money off r and fines. Pruitt has been driving a truck for 15 years. When federal guidelines changed to 11 hours of driving time and a 14-hour workday. They put everyone on e-logs, and with that being said, it's, it seems as though the industry has changed to the fact that everybody is on the same shift. Not long ago, he took his mandated break in Williamsburg. The pilot truck stop and the rest area nearby were completely full, nowhere to park for the night. And then I pull back up to the road and I see trucks going that way, so I go and they pull in to the Walmart. So I actually followed a truck into the front parking lot of the Walmart. He gets in a row with the other trucks, goes into Walmart, drops about $130 on essentials, and goes back to his truck and goes to sleep. Somebody pecks on my door, and I jump up, and there's these two guys, and they said, you've been booted, it's gonna cost you 500 bucks, or a wrecker will be here in a minute. I said, do what? Also, this stretch of I-75 doesn't help between Georgetown and Williamsburg, where there's not made truck stop options. Combine that with time drives and stops, and a truck driver could get into a jam. Those people aren't hunting at Walmart to park at. They're parking there out of necessity. He says if a business doesn't want truckers, they need more than signs like this. A lot of businesses put up poles that nothing over a certain height could get under. It does seem like $500 times 14 trucks on just one night might cover that cost.